Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain how to install the Vapor uh, dashboard for a uh, Usborna 701. This is pretty simple. Uh, I will add some uh, all the things that I bought from internet. Um, I buy it from Trailtech. I will put some images here so you can see what I bought. Uh, I bought the Universal Inverter Fork Kit and also I need to buy an... well it's down here in the right ear. Uh, it's a, a temperature sensor that uh, Trailtech also sells. Uh, it's 60 millimeter bolt that can fit inside the radiator so it's pretty simple so first we got to remove the headlight and it has three bolts one here, one under here, and also it has one here. Yeah. Then, after we remove the bolts, we can quit our headlight. You can put it on the side, it's not a problem because it's attached to the uh, all the wires from the brakes and the speedometer. Then, uh, we have four harnesses from the uh, Trailtech uh, dashboard. This one is from the coolant sensor. Then this one, it has only one cable, it's red, it's from the RPMs. Then we have this one that has two cables also, and it's from our, from our speedometer. And by last, uh, we have our positive and negative for the dashboard. Well, first, what I did here to install my dashboard for the, uh, I don't know how to say, well, for the alimentation of uh, voltage, I use the accessories number two because accessories number one, when you put that uh, on your bike, the dashboard will be on all the time. So the accessories number two, they only get on when you turn on the switch. So you need to use these ones. If you consider, it says accessory number two. Then uh, I install it like this way. Uh, the positive to the red and, and black uh, cable and the negative to the brown cable. Next we install the speed sensor. This one is a little bit tricky because it's not the length that we need. Uh, so I need to put like uh, a longer cable to the speedometer. Well, what I did is I crossed all the, the sensor uh, with all the, the other cables that have the bike and I put it down here here if you can see it I put a zip tie because there is no way that you can put the uh, in other place the speedometer sensor and also the kit includes uh, a magnet so it can read the the speed that you have I put the magnet between the in this hole that has the the brake rotor so it reaches very good the speed if it has any problem and it's going to work anyway. Then for the next part we need to disassemble both of the front fairings from the bike, this one and also this one and we need to quit our seat. So, as you can see now, I removed the left fairing and if you can see, I already quit the bolt that is from the radiator. So, this bolt originally is for uh, quitting all the air that is on the radiator. Uh, also, if you lose this bolt, it's going to be a mess because here is some coolant. So, what you're going to do is try to put your bike to a wall so the handlebar gets into the bike so the bike will be like something like this and 
the original bolt is eight millimeters. So now I'm going to show you, uh, well, the the sensor that twelve touch cells. And what I can say about the sensor is that it's pretty accurate. Uh, it really measures well the the coolant temperature, and also I already have installed the fan switch that is for lower activations from Rottweiler performance and by now the this sensor tells me that my uh, radiator fan activates at 88 degrees Celsius and it shuts down at 78 so it's pretty good uh, I really it's reading well well what you can see here is the the sensor that they sell uh, okay and for the end we're going to install the tachometer this one is a little bit trickier so as you can see now I have installed it but I want to explain to you what I did uh, these coils are direct, direct to the spark plug so you can wire the cable around the wiring from the cold that usually you can do it in the off-road bikes but in this case you can't so what you need to do or what I did here uh, is to I put my cable the red one that came from the kit from trail touch to if you can see here there is a purple with yellow uh, cable so I put my cable to that one so it can read the RPMs this one is the direct uh, voltage or current or power supply sorry um, this one are all the pulses that came from the computer so if you put the right cable here in the wild one you will be able to read all the RPMs from your bike then because the cable is too long and I didn't want to cut it out because you know, I want to have like braces readings. I put the cable around the coil, like if it was like another kind of coil, but well. And then I rode my cable behind all this part of the bike. Then I put a zip tie down here and I put the, the cable here in the, oh, the headlight. So, okay. Now, like the original, uh, gouge from the bike you can use it without any uh, power on on the bike without any trouble but it won't be so bright like if you turn on the switch see now as you can see uh, when you when I turn on the switch uh, the dashboard will immediately light up so it has uh, three modes the first mode will be this one that reads speed, RPMs, R temperature, and also my distance and the hour. On the second one, it will read the speed, the actual temperature of the bike, and also the RPMs, and the ride time, riding time, sorry. And also in this one, we'll show you your max uh, parts of the bike, the max temperature you have, or the bike reached the max speed that the bike reached and also the max RPM that the bike reached also the hours per hour services now I'm going to turn on the bike so you can see how it works So, as you saw, when you start up the bike, the tachometer will be like a little bit crazy. It will go up to 12,000 RPMs. Um, this, what I search about that is that, because if you, do, you just have one wire from the coil to the RPM sensor, uh, it won't be so accurate uh, when it's like the start of the bike. 
Uh, also, sometimes the bike uh, likes to uh, get erratic on the RPMs, but this this thing we only do it like for the first five seconds. And well, for last, as you can see here, is the the bike temperature. Same thing. So as you can see, when you turn on the bike, the dashboard will be immediately off. Uh, it will be in a, on a standby for, I read like it was like 10, 20 minutes maybe. But, well, that's all. Uh, and also, to mount the vapor, uh, 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 to mount the vapor speedometer, uh, it also comes a kit from TrailTech to put it on the handlebar. I tried to put it on the original speedometer, but it just causes some problems with the ABS. So I didn't want to remove the original uh, gouge and it's already down here. So I put my gouge here and the original one is down there. So I can read both things, but you know, I'm just going to use this one. Also like a little fact, the original speedometer from this bike is also from tra trail tech but it's a little bit simpler and it's not like very accurate so well that will be all i hope you uh, find this video useful and i will up upload more things that i do to this bike so maybe you know you can use them okay see you